Hello, my name is Michelle Barrett from Capsule Closet Stylist. Welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would talk to you about style for men. So many videos we see are all directed towards women's style and how to be stylish and how to create a capsule wardrobe and all those sort of things. So today I thought I would talk to the men directly. So this video is directed to you. So today I'm going to give you 20 different style tips for men. So let's get started. Number one. Now the first thing that you need to do is think about what style you like. Now have a look at people in the public eye. So have a look at musicians and have a look at actors or whoever you like really. It could be your granddad, it could be somebody who you know who lives down the road and look at what they wear and why you like it. So is it because the way they put clothes together or is it the style of clothes that they wear or is it the colours that they use or is it the way it fits? Have a really good look without looking like a weirdo staring at somebody at images or other people you know and really think about what it is you like about those styles and note that down. So is it because they've just got a plain pair of jeans with a black and white stripy top? It's simple, it's classic, but it works. Number two, once you've had a look around at the different types of styles that you like, list three different styles that you like. So it could be, you know, I don't know, one of them's George Clooney, let's say, for example. You like what George Clooney wears. It, we don't need to worry at this stage whether those outfits would suit you or they wouldn't suit you. You just like that style. So choose three different styles that you like based on three different people. That way you can actually monitor what they wear, particularly if they're in the public eye and get a much broader picture as to what you're aiming for. Number three. Now, once you've identified the style that you like, you need to think about the fit. It's really, really important. It is not surprising to me the amount of people that don't actually know what size they are. So if need be, go into a good tailor's, say to them that you're interested in, um, you know, getting a suit measured up for a suit. It could be anywhere. You can go into Moss Bros and do this, get measured up for a suit and find out what your actual inside leg measurement particularly is. Many men that come to me will say to me there are 32 waist, for example, and there are 34 inside leg and they turn up and I give them the jeans and the jeans are like two or three inches too long. So the main thing is think about fit. So find out what size you are. It doesn't matter what size you are, but find out what it is. So that when you go and buy things, the first thing is, is they fit you properly. That will up your game straight away. Number four, find lots of other stylish people. So it could be that you find them in a certain type of hangout, or you find them on Instagram, or you find them on YouTube or wherever it is, follow them open up a secret account if you need to and just follow those types of styles that you like it will give you inspiration and it will also give you an idea of what works and doesn't and what doesn't work and why it works it, often style is all about really simple options um, and creating looks from something that's not too it's not too expressive it's not a fad it's not a trend it's just something that looks simple classic and works so follow who you like on Instagram and it will give you lots of inspiration. Number five. Now, if you're still not sure about what will work for you and what won't, go for classic first. Classic always works. So the classic white shirt. You cannot go wrong with having a classic plain white shirt in your wardrobe. So classic work, the white shirt, the standard pair of straight denim jeans, um, like think think of a 501, classic 501, um, the classic black and white striped top or Breton top, similar to this, or like a um, black and white striped t-shirt. Just think of those classic looks and actually consider adding those into the ward your wardrobe. And also think about the um, styles that you're following on Instagram or wherever you've seen them and have a look at what comes up quite frequently. Because often in style, like I say, Classic is where it's at. Number six. So once you've decided which classic styles you like, then consider purchasing the odd classic piece first before you consider anything that's trending. 
So what are classic styles? So as I mentioned before, you've got your classic white shirt, classic white t-shirt, think Marlon Brando, straight jeans, denim jeans with a white t-shirt and a black leather jacket, done. Really, really easy, really, really simple, but it works. So have a look at those classic styles. You could dress it up or dress it down with a pair of brogues or with a white pair of trainers. It looks great. It works for everybody and you can't really go wrong with it. If you are somebody that worries about your weight a little bit and the thought of a white t-shirt makes you want to run for the hills then choose something darker. Choose something in a charcoal grey or in a navy. Charcoal grey and navy work for everybody, by the way. Number seven. Now, steer clear of anything which has, you know, large logos on it or really graphic prints or anything that's too in your face. You can add something like that in at a later date, but while you're just starting to build this capsule wardrobe up and this style up, just start with the classics. So keep those logos to a minimum. Number eight. So stick to classic neutral colours. Now I call them canvas colours and what I mean by canvas colours, they're usually colours which go with lots of other items as well. And canvas colours that suit everybody, it doesn't matter what skin tone you are, what eye colour you are, what hair colour you are, are, make a note of these, French navy, so that's that navy colour which you can still see quite a lot of the blue in it. It's not that real deep navy that looks almost black. So French navy is number one. Number two is like a warm white or a slightly off-white, almost like an ivory. That suits everybody. Charcoal grey. Now, if you're somebody when you put black on and it makes you look really drained or it makes you look ill, then actually charcoal grey may well work for you better or the navy that I mentioned as well. So navy, charcoal grey, uh, stone as well. Think of the classic uh, trench coat um, colour. That type of colour suits everybody. Bottle green suits everybody. And actually one that may surprise you, blood red as well. Now I'm not saying you should wear something in head to toe in blood red, but you could add a little bit of red um, here and there, you know, in a stripe on a top or maybe, um, I don't know, in, in, in a pattern on a tie or something like that. You know, a classic kind of white and navy with a tiny little bit of red works every time. Same with the black and white as well, actually. So choose neutral colours, which you know will work for you. The colours that I've just listed will work for everybody. So if you start with those, you'll do really well. And if anything, try and choose under kind of seven or eight colours. Keep it quite minimal. And the reason why I say that is because then it's much easier to mix and match an outfit. Number nine, quality over quantity every single time. Now, it doesn't matter what budget you have, but think about quality over quantity. And that does not mean I'm talking about labels. I'm not talking about you dressing yourself head to toe in labels right now. What I'm talking about is buying garments which have been cut properly and actually a cut to fit you beautifully. So if that's something you need to learn about, go into a store which is out of your budget range, run around that store, try a few things on, get a feel for the fabrics, get a feel for how it looks, and try and then go into the high street if you need to go into the high street or wherever it is you go and actually look for something which feels and looks similar. Now, you won't get that for everything, you know, that you, you'll go into the high street and there will still be quite a lot which won't hit that target. But what you can do is get an idea of the difference between something that is quality and something that's not. And if if it means that you go for you really want that quality, but you can only afford the high street, then look on places like Depop, eBay, Vinted, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and try and find something that's nearly new. You can get something that's really good quality for a fraction of the price for something you would pay on the high street for a really good quality garment that's going to last you for years. Number ten kind of leads on from number nine, so maximize your budget in the best way you can and by that i mean choose the quality but choose it if you have to choose it secondhand choose it secondhand 
but choose something that's going to last you a long time because yes you could go into Primark and you can buy yourself a leather jacket or a pleather jacket and then you can maybe go into Selfridges and buy yourself a leather jacket which will cost maybe 10 times as much but if you could find a middle ground somewhere in the middle where you either buy that quality garment for a cheaper price on, on Depop because it's being used it will last you a lot longer so although that initial outlay is going to cost you more that garment will last you for much longer thereby you don't have to replace it now once you've got the quality sorted one thing you may well be wondering is well what sizes do i get you know i don't even know what sizes i get all i know is that i've bought this for years and um it fits me even though sometimes it feels a bit snug if you're somebody who's been buying the same size for years and years and years you may well have gone up a size you may well have gone down a size so the best way to do that is to go into a shop pick out a few garments pick out some jumpers shirts and jeans let's say and pick them out in three different sizes so one the size you think you are the size above and the size below try all three on of each garment and actually then decide which one looks and feels best and look in the mirror if you need to step out of that little cubicle don't worry about what anybody else is thinking step out of that cubicle and look in that long line mirror because you need to be able to see yourself kind of fully to be able to gauge what size you are and what works best and then that way you've got your starting point you've got your style that you've looked at that you like the like the look of your classic styles you have chosen some colors and now you know exactly what size you are as well number 12 now if you've got the basis of your wardrobe now and there's a kind of particular style that you really like but you've actually kind of looked and thought oh god i don't even know how i would introduce that to myself i've never worn it let's say it's a suit let's say you work in a job where you very rarely wear a suit you don't even know how to wear a suit you feel weird you feel trussed up in it or there's more occasions now where you might need to wear one so you want to look sophisticated you want to look good in this suit so now you've learned what sizes you are, you kind of should have an idea of what cut and how it should feel, right? That's the first thing. Now, if a suit and a shirt and a tie makes you want to run for the hills, then start off by doing it in a really simple way. And that's wear that suit with maybe a t-shirt underneath and maybe a pair of tra trainers or wear it with a polo shirt or wear it just with the trousers or wear the blazer on its own, but the blazer part of the suit. Gradually introduce it. If your wardrobe is all casual and you need something that's like a suit, or this could work with anything. This could work with a shirt that you want to have, which has got a little bit more of a vibrant pattern on it. Let's say one of the people on Instagram you've been following, he tends to wear classic outfits, but he's got this one shirt that you really like the look of and you like the way he wears it and you think it might work for you. Find something similar, but wear it with very toned down outfits around it. So it could be that shirt and then put it with a pair of jeans. You know, don't put two patterns together in general. Tend to, if you're having something that's a bit more vibrant or a bit more out there, then tend to have everything else that's toned down. Okay, my next tip is don't expect your style to change overnight. So just start with one outfit. So think of one outfit, choose one outfit that you like the look of on your Instagram style inspiration or wherever it is you're getting your ideas from and actually choose that go for that then gradually build that up then what you can do is let's say for example you've gone for the black leather jacket white t-shirt straight leg jeans so now you can swap it out straight leg jeans and put it with a different type of shirt maybe you could put it with a plain white shirt and you could put the leather jacket just gradually build up a wardrobe that will mix and match in easily in easily and like i said the best way to do that is to limit the colors that you choose but actually just start with one outfit that one outfit that really makes you feel good that you get compliments in that fits well because you know what size is and actually also suits you in terms of color and number 14 now if you've bought a couple of those items and they're a little bit out of your comfort zone but you still really want to give it a go get used to wearing it so even if it means you wear it around the house or you just wear it to pop down to the shop or you wear it to go and get a pint of milk or whatever it is but just wear it out a little bit so it kind of starts to feel like a normal part of your wardrobe before you go and wear it on a date or like a, you know, a night out where it's significant and you're going to dress up. If you're feeling like it's slightly out of your comfort zone, get used to it that way. Number 15, think about your accessories really well. So invest in a good watch. Now think about the watch strap, think about the face, think about everything else. Does it, do you tend to wear casual clothes all the time? Do you tend to wear suits most of the time? In that way, think about that watch and the strap 
and whether it fits with what you wear normally. So for example, let's say you have to wear a suit all the time for work and you've got this bright red sports watch, plasticky looking bright red sports watch. It's not gonna go well as well as a classic watch. It can either be like an, an, an Apple watch like this or with a classic face with a leather strap, a plain brown or plain black leather strap. So tend to tone it down. If you're looking at ties, Think about what colours you've got in your actual suit and the shirt that you wear. What will work? Avoid the really, really crazy patterns. So with the accessories, the accessories, think about your wardrobe first. The accessories should then be the finishing touches on top, but also mix and match into lots of other outfits that you've got. Number 16, don't be afraid to use a bit of colour. Now, I know I've said that the navy blues and the whites and the reds and everything else suit everybody, and they do. But don't be afraid to um, invest in a bit of colour if you if you want and if it works for you. If you're worried about your colours and you don't quite know what colours suit you, then consider going to capturecloisetstylist.com uh, forward slash personal styling for men. Um, if you look in the if you go to capturecloisetstylist.com and you look in personal styling, you'll find a little section dedicated to men. In that section, you will be able to see um, my personal styling colour analysis packages where you can learn exactly what colours suit you. So then if you choose the base colours like your navy blues and everything else, you can also choose a couple of colours on top which you know will work for you. So don't be afraid to use a little bit of colour if you want to. Number 17. Now this is the classic pair of jeans. Now I don't think you can go wrong without the classic 501, the classic straight leg 501. Um, now, a really good pair of jeans are a pair of jeans that have been worn by you for years. So it could be that they were in a dark colour and they've now faded somewhat, but they are your pair of jeans. It's like buying a good pair of shoes. So find a pair of jeans that fit you well, that feel good, and actually you can age the age with you, essentially. And it doesn't matter if they fade a bit over time, because that will actually fade in a way that works for you. So invest in a good pair of jeans that work for you and your style, and your body shape and again if you need help and body shape and body shape guides and uh, what styles work for you then uh, go to capturecloisetstylist.com uh, personal styling you'll find a whole section for men and there's also a um, body shape guide which I offer there as well. Number 18 now this one you might not think is important but believe me it is underwear. Keep your underwear really simple really classic so think white grey black that's it. Avoid the bright colours, avoid the Bart Simpson socks and um, underpants, because if you've got a beautifully made suit and a beautifully made shirt, and then you've got this pair of Bart Simpson pants sticking out the bottom, top up, half of your back, it's not going to look good. So keep those things really, really simple. Have the odd pair if you want, if you love that kind of thing, but make the vast majority of your, your wardrobe in really simple block colours. So I think your charcoal grey, navy blue, white, you know, grey, black. And um, same goes for socks. Number 19, dress for where you are. So let's say, for example, you are going on a date. Look at who your date is, look at her profile, look at his profile. You know, is he smart? Is she smart? Are they um, really casual? Does it look like they kind of adapt to whichever situation they're in? So replicate that in what you do. So uh, if, you, for example, you're going out to dinner with somebody, take a look at their profile photos and work out whether you think they generally dress quite smart or they dress quite casual and, and replicate that. The only other thing to consider as well is dress codes. So if you're going somewhere and there is a dress code, check that out beforehand because there's nothing worse, particularly if you're going on a date or even if you're just going to meet mates and you can't get in because you don't meet the dress code. So um, always consider clothes for the occasion. There's three major categories. One is smart, so that's like your suits, sorry, your suits, your shirts, your ties, think corporate. One is smart casual, so describe, to describe that, that's kind of like it could be a shirt and a pair of chino style trousers. It could be a white shirt with a pair of jeans even. Uh, it could be a pair of chino style trousers with a polo shirt. Something that looks like you've made an effort, but doesn't look like you just crawled out of bed. And then you've got your kind of more casual. So it could be hoodie and jeans and trainers, you know, so a t-shirt, jeans and trainers. But even a t-shirt 
jeans and trainers can look good if you put a blazer on top that then kind of plops straight into the smart casual so if you've kind of got a little bit of that in your wardrobe so think a suit think um a plain couple of plain t-shirts white navy charcoal and maybe a couple of striped ones uh, a pair of chinos and maybe like a navy or a um, stone color and then a white shirt then a more casual shirt that could be like a denim looking shirt or it could be like a check or a plaid shirt and a pair of brogues black brogues simple black brogues and a pair of trainers you're already oh and maybe a polo shirt you're already in a really good starting point to actually then create several different outfits that for different occasions. So make sure your outfit fits the occasion you're going to. And finally, last but not least, know what suits you, know what you love. Now, there are so many different people who kind of are not brave enough to wear certain colours or they're not brave enough to wear certain styles. And I think I think that's kind of sad. So the biggest part about your wardrobe should be what you love because if you love it and you feel good in it then that is going to come across you're going to look confident you're going to look a lot better straight away by just feeling confident in what you you um love now if somebody's already already or used to buy your outfits for you whether it be your mum or your partner whoever it was or you've never had a clue or you've never quite nailed this you're too busy you don't have time to even think about it you hate shopping, which a lot of us do. And believe me, even though I'm a stylist, I actually hate shopping too. But the difference is when I go looking for something, I can walk straight in somewhere like a radar and just walk straight up to it and buy it. So if you need help in that area, again, go to my website, capturecrossetstylist.com, um, personal styling at the top, and look down, and look for the men's section. There's a whole section there with all different packages, um, which can help you create the wardrobe that you want. I offer personal shopping, where um, I can literally uh, create a wardrobe for you and send you a PDF with all the links of where to buy it. And uh, we can go through a wardrobe edit where we go through clothes privately, online, nobody will even know you've done it. We go through um, your wardrobe, and we pick out what works for you and what doesn't. It's really simple and easy. And the reason why we do that is so that when you get dressed in the morning, whatever occasion it is, you've got a simple wardrobe there and you know exactly what to put on. If something needs replacing, you know exactly what to replace it with. So if that appeals to you, by all means, go over to the website. So I hope you found that helpful. If you've got any questions about styling for men and the differences between, um, you know, often a lot of the advice that's offered towards women, then by all means, comment below. Subscribe if you found this useful. And um, but give me some suggestions. You know, if you've got any suggestions of videos you'd like to see in the future, by all means, let me know. And um, I'll see you soon. Take care.